So um, on my Making Console Menus app and VB on the YouTube page, I got a message from uh, Chaco Hamilton to do another video on list of NVB. So that's what we're doing here. Now, at this point, if you're if you're focusing on list of, you should know pretty much what lists are, and you can kind of think of them as a collection or hybrid array. Uh, and an array is just a collection of things. Okay, so think of it like a container that holds multiple things. So uh, a list of is, uh, is a collection. Now, the thing about a list of in VB is that it allows you to easily add and access and you know remove things so you can add and remove and insert things very easily, um, even objects in a list. So we're going to go ahead and do an example of that here in Visual Studio. I have Visual Studio open. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I'm in VB, Visual Basic, uh, Windows Classic Desktop, and then I'm going to go over here to Console App. This will work in any programming language. The reason why I'm doing this in VB is because the request came from the VB video. If you want me to do it in C Sharp or Python or whatever, I can go ahead and do that also. So. I go ahead and I name this and then I click OK. So I have this module here and I'm going to hit F5 to make sure nothing crazy is going on that I, I shouldn't I should know about. And it's going to open and then it's going to close really quick and we should know that because in the council window when you hit control F5 it'll stay open or going here to debug and start without debugging that'll give us it the same thing as we had before. So let's say if I wanted to go ahead and make a list of something. We're going to jump right into list. The way I'm going to make a list is I have to dim the list just like I do with any other variable. So let's look at how a variable is created. So if I say dim powers as a string. Now that's a normal variable. I can put one thing in there if I want, like powers <coughs> equals fire, magic powers, whatever, <coughs> superhero strength. So uh, that can equal that, but I can't really add anything extra to this. If I were to add something else to this, it would actually uh, overwrite uh, what I currently have there. So um, if I wanted a list of powers, I can actually go ahead and create an object first for this and then add it to a list. But let's look at first simply adding um, strings to that list instead of a different kind of object. We'll add the objects of strings to this list. So since I want a list of strings, basically I can go up here and change this to a list by saying as new and I'm going to say list. Now, as you can see, basically all I needed to do in order to create this as a list is basically add this new list. And then I want to say what that list will consist of, you know, like a list of oranges or a list of apples or a list of fruit. Yeah, a list of fruit, list of vegetables, list of corpses, whatever. List of power. So I'm going to go ahead and enclose that inside of the parentheses here. And then I'm going to put of. Now, that's how you do it in Visual Basic. You know, other coding languages is a bit different. Now, at the end of this list of, I'm going to do this. Now, that will tell me that this right here is now a new list. So, as you can see here, I'm trying to add fire to my powers list. But it doesn't add this way like a normal variable would. If I wanted to add to a list, you simply use dot add in order to add anything to a list. And then inside of there, I could put the quotes and power. Because the quotes, because this is this is a list of strings. Now, if it was a list of powers, then I would just put a power in here. And we'll look at that in a second. But for now, all I need to do is go ahead and add my power here. So I'm going to put my firepower. 
fire power. And then I can uh, continue that in that vein for every added power I wanted to add. So fire, water, air. soil. So now we have a list of four items. So how can we get to this list? As soon as I run this thing, this is what's going to happen. It's going to have that list there, but it's not going to reveal anything. Well, this is how we can print out something from that list. We can actually access each individual item from the list directly by its, um, its index. So there's a natural index that goes with these, and they go in a particular order. But for right now, let's go ahead and print this out. If I was to say console dot right line, and now I'm going to say powers because all the lists are in, are zero based. So that means that this will be zero. This will be one. So technically, fire is what I should be getting out of here. So if I were to hit Control F5 and run that, there it is. I can see that there's fire up there. If I were to select, let's say, 0, 1, 2, and then 3. So I should put 3 here and then see it all work the same. And there it is, it says soil. Perfect. So that's how we can access certain things in the, in the list. However, many times we want to be able to add, 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 this, um, add these things all together or be able to manipulate items in the list and remove things in the list. So what we would do is, in order to traverse this list, we'd use something called a for each loop in order to do that. But if I wanted to just kind of combine these things, I can easily use a string. So a string class, the string class has join that we were able to use. So if I were to say uh, dem value as uh, string, and that will equal string dot join. And then join will take, what do I want to join it with? I'm going to join it with that. And what do I want to join? And this right here, as you can see, it takes an object. This object is this list of things. So I'm going to put powers there. So now join will take this and it will combine all those things. So I'm going to take this value and then I can print this value out. So I'm going to hit Control F5. And as you can see, what it did with my list, it joined every element of my list together. Now remember, a list can be a list of strings, a list of integers, a list of anything, a list of objects. So let's look at how we can actually first traverse this list and then how to put objects in this list. So in order for me to traverse this list, to go th from one end to the next of this list, what I'm going to use is a for each loop here. Now, for each item as a string inside of powers. So let me do this. Powers. And now it's going to go through every item inside the powers list. If the item is equal to air, then I want the console to say um, so I'm going through this whole list It'll be a thousand things but if one of these things one of these items is air and you're not supposed to have air here then I go ahead and give you a message. So I'm going to print out the list, and then I'm going to do this. So let's see what happens. Control F5. And it does say air powers are not used here. So I can even do something like this. So I'm going to remove this here, and I'm going to put this here. So that way I can print out, take this, and I'm going to print out all the items in the list. So I'm going to print out all the items in the list. If there's air, it will only say this, right? Well, it'll say this. It's going to print it out first, and then it's going to say this. But if I were to put this down here, 
it'll say that and then print it out. So let's go ahead and run it. So it prints everything out and then it says this because we're at air and then it says this right here. So as you can see, we can easily create a list of things. And then we can use the string, string class, plus the join to be able to join things. So let's say if we wanted a list of things, right, list of objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside of this module here, and I'm going to go ahead and add me a class. I'm going to create a class of powers. So I'm going to say... Um, All right, and this class of powers has, and I'm just going to make all these things public. I'm not going to go the whole object-oriented route. So we're just doing this for demonstration for the list. So I'm going to say a public. Um, a power has a name as a string. And a power has a level. It's an integer. Okay, so a power has a name and a power has a level. And so I'm done with my power class. I'm not going to put anything else in there. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll put... Um, yeah, maybe I'll make an attack. And it takes a uh, all right, and then uh, what will this do? This will write to the console window the input. Whatever you want to put there, you get the idea. I have an action that a power can do, and I have a, uh, public variables that can be used inside of a power. So now what I want to go up, up here is instead of saying powers as list of strings, what I'm going to say is powers is a list of power. So now I'm saying this only takes a list of power, this class here, this type. So now you see here I have these errors here. So what I'm going to have to do is remove these and replace this fire with something I create. So I'm going to have to create a power and I'm going to dim myself fire power as a power. And I can just say as a new power, something like that. And I'm going to dim water power. and so on and so forth. Let me uh, make this a little bit faster so that way you don't have to wait around. I think the other one was wind and soil. All right, so we have these powers. Now all I want to do is go ahead and instantiate these, I mean, that statue. I want to go ahead and fill the values here. Dot level one. All right, so I have these objects now these power objects I have the level filled and the next thing I'm going to do with these power objects is go ahead and change the name 
So the name here will be fire. That's my fire power. And I'm going to do the same to all of these. Except change the name. Now all I need to do is add the power itself. So I'm going to go down here. Instead of this name here, I'm going to go ahead and add the power. And as, as you can see here, I don't get any errors here from this point. And then I can do the same with all the other powers here. And then all I need to do is change the names. So now I added to my list of powers these powers that I created, this class of powers that I created here with all this stuff in there. Now, once I, as a matter of fact, I think I can make this more personalized by saying has, um, I don't even need to put a variable here just so we can know what's been fired and I'll just put name has been fired. So that way, whatever it is can be fired directly and we don't have to say what it is. All right, so now over here, this right here is trying to access my powers, but is looking at it as a bunch of strings. The only thing I need to change in this is say as a bunch of powers instead of strings. So now I don't have an issue there. Here's one issue I have down here is because it's trying to act as a string there. Now, if I do this and I say, write this item, whatever that item is, it's not going to give me what you may expect. It's not going to give me the details of the powers. It's going to tell me, hey, there's a list there. So let's run this and you'll see what I mean. See, what it's looking at here is saying, hey, there's a list of powers. You know, it doesn't know what you want it to do. So it doesn't know, it doesn't have... Uh, to string event here to tell it what you want it to do naturally when you do something like this. But we can access different elements of this. So if I set dot name of each power, now I'm going to get that list that I had for uh, had in the beginning. So control F5, I get that list. I can even do this. Dot title. Or did it have a dot title? What did it have? It had a dot, oh, level. It had a dot level. Okay. And then I'll get my name plus its level right after. And then I can say something like this just for test. I can say um, if item dot level is greater than two item dot attack so now whatever item is greater than two so we should be getting power wind and soil has been used okay so let's try that out and see what happens so it goes down here fire one wind three and then it says wind has been used because wind is above two then it says soil for, then soil has been used. So what we learned today is that we can add just standard lists made of strings. We can also add lists made of integers. And we can also add lists that are made of other objects. We just now proved that we can make a list of almost anything in code. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and if you need me to make any other videos, make sure you uh, contact me about that. And most of the time, if you put it in the comment section, I'll be able to see that and I'll respond to it. There's not one comment I haven't responded to so far, if I've seen it. So make sure you share this video. Make sure you go watch some of my other videos. Make sure you subscribe. And make sure that you send the million dollars that I asked for last week. Okay, so I've been waiting for that and it hasn't come yet. So right after this video, you know what to do. I'll see you guys next time.